respect the, the creative struggle that you've been having around this and I, I can only imagine that because of the broad ideas and the complexity of the site it's a very complex place to find yourself and uh, I have to say I'm thrilled with, with what you're finding in this process. Ai Weiwei has some amazing ideas for this exhibition but realizing them has been another matter. In 2011, Ai Weiwei was detained by the Chinese government, and to this day, he is still unable to leave China. So I have had to make many trips to his studio in order to confer with him about this project. What only requires is our imagination, you know. We, we have to think about what's that like, which is not bad practice. In that sense, it's a very complicated process. Even the work itself looks very simple, easy. But that's we always want. Our work looks very simple and easy. Anybody can do it. It's, it's easy for people to understand the message. And there's one thing that's so important in this project is it's that people know the political, political prisoners in, the, in all over the world. And at the beginning, we did some research about, about the prisoners and, and the photographs. And that was probably a six or seven month process to compile a, a list of people that we were interested in that Weiwei wanted to represent in the piece. And then we divided up into you know, 10 designers and start to pixelate the image and then go piece by piece and fill in all the Legos. Each portrait take, takes up to about 10,000 bricks. Weiwei comes and looks at it. He, he's, he's very quick at deciding. It's like, no, no, good. No, no, no. Okay, this is fine. And then we move on past that. in the prison. We want to show something light can fly in the prison. Mm -hmm. the prison. Want to just lean this up against that door maybe? So this is a large space so we, we are trying to make one huge dragon into this space so to so, so really give the energy, you know. So we want the object itself it's feel light, cheerful, full of energy and a lot of hope and uh, even with joy but still reflects the, the, the will of this prisoner. The Kai is really meaningful and then uh, we use a lot of Chinese uh, pattern and language uh, so it's, I, we make the dragon look traditional but modern Dragon in the old time classically is symbolic for the emperor and the king. But we use that image to represent personal freedom. But we think everybody is, uh, has this uh, power. The profile that we are, we are following it is reference to a bird. How long have you been working on this piece? I mean, uh, is this few months. Is this the first idea is come from? Yeah. This is totally different from this drawing. Uh, we can work together and then inspire each other and then we build up something new. So every time I work for Weiwei and then I think it's uh, 
so surprised the result, and then you never know uh, before the deadline, and then after that, you s when you saw when you see the result, and then you will feel, whoa, that's great, the effect is. Till the last moment before we ship it out, we don't really know. Okay. It's been very difficult that Ai Weiwei has not been able to come for this installation. Uh, but every day, we have 10 studio assistants here. We've been sending photographs to him in his studio in Beijing so that he can see the progress. Uh, at large had the benefit of three wonderful partners, the Foresight Foundation, the National Park Service, and the Parks Conservancy, uh, and of course, the amazing gift of this world-renowned artist. But when you put all those institutions together to launch something of this uh, significance, unprecedented in many ways, it's complicated. Uh, there are many details to work out. There are different points of view, hundreds of meetings, lots of logistics, lots of discussions, so it's been uh, a splendid undertaking, a complicated undertaking, uh, one with difficulties and heated arguments along the way, uh, but in the end, that's art.